what is this UDHR? Yeah, what are we going to get out of it? Yeah, explain what the next article is going to be about. Excellent. Go ahead. Well, can I kind of say that like introducing the UDHR? You're introducing it, it, right? You're introducing what's to come. And isn't that what an introduction is? Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the purpose of an introduction? Like intro. Intro. The reason right behind the whole story. Go ahead. The rates that we need, so kind of like saying, this is what you're in for. Mm -hmm. Got it, Sean. And then we're going to have peace and be protected and be safe. Good. So if we're looking just at the first se section of it, if I was going to annotate this, I have my little note catcher here. But I was talking about, uh, this was just before, where we would just write the gist, right? Summarize. How could we just get the gist? Whereas recognition of the inherent dignity of the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. What does that mean to us? What does it mean to you? That, um, that a lot of people have rights and there should be, like some places they don't have, like things that they may do and they, like, Things that other people have, and really, they shouldn't. Everybody should have have this have that should be equal and have the same thing. Right. We should all recognize what. What should we all recognize? That you have rights. We have rights, right? Rights to freedom, rights to justice, rights to peace. Oh, and to be heard. Good. What I want you to do is take a minute. I want you to look back at what you filled in so far. What are you noticing? You guys are taking out really important bits of information from the preamble. What are you noticing so far? About what I wrote? Oh yeah, about what you wrote. Yeah. I was like, I didn't do that. Yes, what you have written so far. What do you notice? And who said it before? Was it Allison wanted to know why is the end bolded? Why does every section start with whereas? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then. Yep. Gotcha. No, I don't mind. You don't mind, thank you. Um, I said that um, instead of us reading the paragraphs about the UDHR, um, they're telling us what it is about because if we just read it, I mean, would have not understand it. Right. Can you imagine be, being given 30 articles saying we have all this, these rights and being like, grow up. Grow up. Right? So it kind of gives you that introduction. It tells you this is the reason. Right, Louis? Did you want to share something? Well, the first words of the first sentence of the final paragraph are told. The first words. Of the first paragraph. The first paragraph. Of the final paragraph. Of the I mean, final paragraph. The first sentence of the final paragraph. Gotcha. Are in bold. Are in bold. That's a big noticing, right? And we're going to have an opportunity to really look at that and say, wow. right? What are you know? What are you discovering? I should say, Allison. I saw that not only are the, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the General Assembly are like the capitalized, right? And also that like maybe that in the need to go out of courts, um, and how we saw that maybe we would have been published, maybe that was what the General Assembly was. I love that you're going back and thinking about that picture and making a connection. That's awesome. You might want to jot that down. Your plan, right? So that you don't lose that thinking. Um, I'm going to bring it to a Jody's group. A Jody made a really good point. What did you say? The repeated words, right? So we're noticing there's a lot of repeated words. Has anybody ever used a word cloud before? Yes. What? Word cloud. Yeah. Mrs. Magyar's in the room. You better be truthful. Put those hands up. Right? Get those hands up. So what a word cloud does is it takes a text and it brightens up or bolds out the words that are really important or come up a lot. 
right? So if we look really closely, what text do you think went into this? The preamble. Thank you, sir. The preamble went into this. And what words do we notice a lot? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Human, right, respect, dignity, whereas, freedom, people, freedom, people, nation, among people, universal, better, place, want, law, highest, least, be kind, beautiful. Okay, but what would that mean? What would we, what would it mean if we just started saying these words? Nothing really. Would it mean anything? unless we had this deeper understanding, right? So if I threw out the words rights to you, you guys would have something to say about those, right? Yeah. You would probably have a lot to say. What would you say about rights? A Jody? The things you can do. The things you can do. Privileges we could get, beautifully said. They're not like laws. They're not like laws. They're like entitlements, mm -hmm. right? Having, having rights when you need. Having rights or can I say protection too when you need it? Excellent. When you get respect. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so we're noticing a lot. What are you noticing so far over time? We've only gotten to maybe, what did we get to? Notice we still have a couple more things to do. But where are we so far? What are we noticing? What are we taking notes about? What are we getting from the preamble? What are we getting out of it? What are we getting out of the pictures? What are we getting about hearing it twice, right? Read fluently. Maybe it's different religions or kinds um, coming, coming together. People coming together. I like that. People are coming together with this document. Good. What else? Anything else? All right. Switch something over for us. Real quick. This is my favorite part of this activity. That's it. I've heard about this lady. Me too. Not being good to me. Yeah, I got the body got a squash. All right. Luckily enough, we have a small group today. So See, what I'm going to do, them. what I'm going to do is ask you to just glance at this paper and tell me if you know what it is. I'm gonna be around, I promise. Just a glance, it's just a glance. Rich 
important parts. I have beautiful poems from that. So I'm going to read this to you. Tell me if it sounds poetic. Because I did it myself. Okay. Education shall be free. Education shall be technical and professional. Education shall be made generally available. Education shall be equally accessible. So, so far, so good? You like that? Does it sound poetic? Yes. Yeah. All right. Education shall be the full development of human personality, Strength, strengthening respect for human rights. Freedoms shall promote tolerance and friendship among all nations. United Nations for the, for the maintenance of peace. Parents, kind education shall be given to their children. <laughs> you like that? You guys are going to get to do that today using your preamble. Okay. I blacked out because I knew that I did enough work with the article to understand what I really wanted to take out of it. But what I'm going to ask that you guys do, and you can work as a group or you can work independently, you might want to circle. Circle the really important parts and then we can go back in and shade it, right? So take a minute. Take the really important things that you've noticed. Can you underline it? You can underline it, whatever you want, right? But take the moment to say, this is really important, right? This is a really important part, all right? And give yourself that time. Nabi, do you have a question? I wanted to know. Um, no, it's not that important. Are you sure? All right, I'll be over to check in on you. So take each section. Give yourself that time, right, to go into each section. Just take out the really beautiful parts, the parts that you really like or kind of say something about the preamble. All right, I'll be around to check in on you. Vivian? So like, like in the preamble, you you can, yes, thank you. So remember back at our skimming and scanning, right? We're going to look for important or key vocabulary, like things that are sticking out to us. But it could be phrases, too. I could have just did education, 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 right? Or shall be, shall be. So however you're thinking, whatever you're thinking is most important. That's a good question. Did everybody hear? Sorry, I know you're working. What if you don't know a word, but you think it's important? Should I put it in there? Circle it. We'll see. We'll see if it fits in. Does that help? Sure. Whatever you need. This is the time you get to create. Create. I also put it up on YouTube. I just send it to you guys. I can do it here. Come back. Just a quick check-in. Um, Shauna's group went straight to the bottom because they thought that was really important. If you have a section that you want to focus on, that's a great place to start. What do you guys think is 
but you need to see what you did. Okay? So take three, two minutes. Is that good? Two minutes? Yeah. To get your thoughts down about your poem. And we can always go back to that. Because I do think you guys need to give yourself a lot of credit for the work that you did today. We're going to evaluate. We're going to ask ourselves some questions. And we're going to write it down as a reflection. What did you learn? What did you learn? This is your self-evaluation. This is your own reflection. I'm going to have you write it down. And then maybe we can share it out tomorrow. So what did you learn? Use your chart, right? You now have these artifacts that show that you got something out of the preamble. What do you see that is similar in each part? What do you see that is different? Okay? And I'd like you to write three things you learned. And that could be about anything that we did in this class period. Okay? Something you learned today. That's a great place to reflect and to give yourself the credit for a great job. Anybody want to share out as they're jotting? What they were an angel. That human rights are important. That human rights are important, right? Why? I'll take it a step further. We wouldn't have the right to an education. There'd probably be a lot of different rules about it, right? Good. So human rights are important. They give us a lot of different freedoms. Important words can be repeated a lot in writing, right? And why? Why do you think writers repeat words? Yeah, to say, this is important. Grab onto this, right? Good. Anything else you learned? Now you know what a preamble is! You think you could go home and tell somebody at home? Yeah. Say, hey, did you know this? Right? That's always so exciting. Yeah. It's always so exciting to teach somebody else something. What else? Anything else? Ooh, I love that. We now know what a found poem is. How many of you like to found poem? I do. Me too. Could you see yourself doing it with another text? Yes. Yes. Right? Very cool. Very cool. What else? Anything? I really, I know it's a small group today. I think I, a lot of you participated really well. You guys shared a lot of thoughts and helped us learn from each other. So thank you. Give yourself a pat on the back. And we will come back to this, I promise. I know a lot of you are really into your poems. So, all right, quickly. Learning targets. Did we skim and scan the preamble? The yes. repeated words? Mr. Yeah. Five, where are we at? Right. You're at a 10? Woo! That's okay. All right. Did we use multimedia resources to gain a deeper understanding of the UDHR? Yes. What were the examples? Sorry, of multimedia. Oh, sorry. What did we use? Um, we use text, we um, use the internet, the internet right? Evidence. The pictures, right? Those primary resource pictures. And what else? Did you hear anything? That nice audio clip? I would have butchered it, I promise you. I wouldn't have read it as nicely. So we did good, Fist of Five, on the multimedia usage. Did we use that? Yeah. You're not a five? You're a hundred. Um, did the pictures help? Did yeah. hearing it help? Good. Good. And the last one, were you able to evaluate what you learned today? Yes. Excellent job. Mm -hmm. All right. Just a five? Where are we at with the evaluation? I'm on a 20. It's always really important to have that ownership. I do not want to keep